After his father died of COVID last fall, Duncan Martinez was overwhelmed by grief and turned to an unlikely outlet, virtual reality. The 24-year-old found himself wading into an emerging field of virtual mental health care, via a service called Inner World, which offers peer-led mental health support through its app. The idea is to bring the principles of cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, into the metaverse and enable users to interact with others as anonymous avatars through voice and text-based chat. CBT aims to help patients change unhealthy thinking or behavioral patterns by developing relevant skills and coping strategies. The American Psychological Association describes it as a form of treatment that helps people OC Pound learn to be their own therapists. Inner World, however, gives everyday users the opportunity to deliver support to one another. Its founder, Noah Robinson, emphasizes that the service should not replace professional treatment. Upon registering, Inner World users must acknowledge that they understand the app is not therapy. OC Pound Idaho's not therapy and we cannot provide crisis intervention Robinson said. OC Pound our goal with Inner World is to be a longer term place that people can come to help them prevent themselves from getting to the point of being in crisis. Or we have people who are hospitalized who come out and are looking for additional support. Upon entering Inner World, users can choose from a variety of settings that emulate environments like hiking trails or libraries. From there, they can engage with other avatars or browse a list of peer-led events, such as group meditation sessions, addiction support groups and workshops on navigating social anxiety. Martinez said that once, he joined a game in which users guessed what others were drawing. The efficacy of Inner World Daco's approach is unstudied, so gathering long-term data is crucial to evaluating this or any similar program, said Barbara Rothbaum a psychologist at the Emory University School of Medicine. Rothbaum published a paper on the use of VR to treat a fear of heights in 1995. OC Pound as far as virtual reality, most of the applications now have used a real therapist she said. Indeed, most therapeutic uses of VR so far have centered on clinician-led exposure therapy for conditions like arachnophobia and claustrophobia as well as for social anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. However, Rothbaum added, OC Pound I do think VR could be useful for self-help, but the programs that have been tested haven not been developed for that. Skip Rizzo, Director of Medical Virtual Reality at the University of Southern California Institute for Creative Technologies, said he first recognized Verco's potential for mental health uses in the 1990s. Rizzo helped pioneer the use of VR to treat PTSD among members of the military. A 2005 report documented the case of a Vietnam War veteran treated with VR therapy who experienced a 34% decrease in clinician-rated PTSD. Rizzo said he sees the potential of Inner World OCO as long as the app continues to make clear that it is not clinician-run. OC pound people that are worried about stigma around whatever the problem is that they have, or the accor ashamed they might not want to admit to another person directly that the Accor having these issues Rizzo said. OC Pound but they might be more likely to in an avatar based world where they can preserve their anonymity but still interact with people. Martinez said he and other users he's met on Inner World felt they were no caught getting the empathy they needed in the real world. OC Pound my real friends don't caught know that I come very emotional. I come very conservative with my emotions with my real friends he said. OC Pound Iocom able to open up an inner world because I know Iocom not going to be judged. Iocom not going to be attacked. Robinson said he was motivated to create inner world after finding solace in an online community in his own life. When he was 13, he said, he became depressed after realizing he was gay, and he turned to the online game RuneScape. The anonymity made him more comfortable exploring parts of himself he was afraid to face in the real world. Robinson said he eventually came out to his online friends. Inner World is not the only program attempting to use VR to help people access mental health support. In his own work, Rizzo is piloting a clinician-facilitated VR project that offers social support to Ukrainian refugees. Refugees who have relocated to Bucharest, Romania, can enter a virtual version of a town square in Kyiv, where they can speak with fellow refugees as anonymous avatars.
a startup called Behavior, meanwhile, launched its app, called First Resort, last week. The VR app guides users through OC Pound chapters on skills that would be taught in CBT sessions. Risa Weisberg, a professor at the Boston University Chobanian and Avadesian School of Medicine, is Behavior's chief clinical officer. She said that because Pipa Ioko's brains process VR experiences in the same way they would a real-life experience, OC Pound you don't accord experience the interventions as something that Yukari reading or hearing, you experience them as something Thatikos happening to you. Weisberg thinks Thatikos why VR exposure therapy has yielded results in the past. Vrako's reach could grow to 64 million people in the US this year, according to a 2021 estimate by eMarketer. Weisberg said that expansion is occurring at a time when more people are seeking mental health care, but also as many are finding it inaccessible due to high costs. OC Pound all that comes together at the same time to make the next few years really ripe for getting mental health techniques and interventions in VR she said. OC Pound I think Wekery going to see a huge uptick in this. Rizzo said his main concern about inner world, however is that people who need professional help might try to substitute the app instead. Rothbaum, meanwhile, said much more research is needed to determine whether these types of programs really work. Ideally, she said, there should be clinical experiments with control groups that track user psycho outcomes.